everyone today is Friday and it was my final treatment at stem cell Institute now I woke up this morning and my local injections felt a lot better especially my knee and my shoulder uh, they hurt really bad yesterday today there's still some pain but it feels much better than yesterday I still want to be a, a little cautious with those joints going forward at least for the next few days so this morning I got up, had breakfast, and then I went up to the Stem Cell Institute for my final treatment, which was 36 million stem cells injected through the IV. So now my treatment is 100% complete. Uh, now also at my visit, they gave me a packet which had all my blood work in it. And um, much like previous blood tests I've had, um, everything was pretty much normal, which is good, uh, but, you know, I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with me as to why I would even need stem cells to begin with. And every report I get says I'm pretty much normal. So, on one hand, I'm happy about that. But on the other hand, I'm trying to figure out what's wrong. And it's hard to figure out what's wrong when everybody tells you everything is normal. Uh, but it's a pretty involved test. I mean, there's several pages of things that they tested. And once again, everything looks good. Uh, so after that I went ahead and came back to the room was real happy I finally completed my treatment I don't have to go back for another one but I did start to feel uh, not so good when I got back I started to feel like tingly all over which I didn't have yesterday and um, we were planning to go out and do something small today like go get lunch and those plans were on hold for a little bit I had to lay in bed for about a half hour and wait for that tingly feeling, that not so good feeling to go away. And I still feel it a little bit, but um, it, it's much better than it was before. Um, so I know, I know there is some side effects. And um, my side effects, I guess, compared to what could be the worst side effects, aren't, aren't too bad. So real happy. I'm checking out of here tomorrow. And um, overall, it was a pretty good experience. And I hope that this works for me because it, it's really expensive and I have no problem paying that money if it works but it's a lot to pay if I don't get any results now I want to give since this is my last day here I want to give another tip to anybody who's coming here to the stem cell Institute so I had my hip done and my D done and I didn't really want to walk on my leg too much uh, after the treatment. In fact, I, after I got my hip done and my knee done, I spent the whole day in bed and the next day. So, um, that could be quite boring if you're not prepared because if you're from the States and you come here, the TV is all Panamanian TV and there might not be anything good to watch, which is going to be your main form of entertainment if you're in bed all day. So, what I did is I planned for this ahead of time and I think this is a good strategy if you come here. So I have a Roku and here is my Roku remote and if I just swing this over here real quick you can see on the TV here I went ahead and disconnected the normal TV and I got my channels here. I have hooked up my Roku. I got Netflix, Amazon Prime, Pandora, and then uh, AT&T DirecTV Now. And what I did was I just hooked my system up and I was able to watch the same TV I have at home here in Panama. So all the live TV shows that I record to my DVR are here. I can watch them here as well as Netflix. So I had plenty of TV for me to watch. Now, there is one other thing. Um, the AT&T now was a little bit more difficult to get hooked up. So, I didn't know this before, but AT&T now only works in the United States. So, if you try to watch it here in Panama, there's going to be some roadblocks. But I was able to find a workaround for this. So, I brought my laptop, and on my laptop I have a VPN. So, on the VPN, I set, if you don't know what a VPN is, uh, you should probably look it up. It's good to have a VPN on your computer when you travel anyway, just for security. But what it does is it allows you to connect, to actually hide your PC 
so no one can hack you, but also you can connect to a certain country. So what it makes it look like is that you're in that country you're connecting to. So on my laptop, I connected to the United States with a VPN, which makes the computer think that I'm actually in the United States. I was then able to access AT&T Now through my computer, and then with the connect function to the Roku, I was able to stream from my laptop to the TV. So I was able to watch all my favorite shows, and uh, it was a much better experience than if I just had to watch Panamanian TV, which I'm sure is good. I just don't really speak Spanish. So uh, that would be my tip if you're going to come here and you're expected to be laid up in bed for a couple days. All right, so I fly out of here tomorrow, and going forward, I plan to release some more updates about my condition, uh, how I'm doing, and the results for getting the stem cell treatment and how it's done for me. All right, everyone, hope to see you in future videos.